I'm not a star yet with the platform. Maybe tonight. Okay, um, good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, uh, well, we're going to start at eight o'clock. Okay, so we have around six minutes. And, and I have to set some things here in my computer. So uh, we're gonna start, we're gonna be starting um, at eight o'clock, okay? So I will be setting some things here. I'll be back. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. No Ileana, in the exercise, you are, not, you are letter A or B? in the conversation? Uh, letter A. And me, letter B. Yes. Okay, okay. You are together in the conversation. Yes. yes. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Casualidad o destino? <laughs> Casualidad o destino. Me, ¿Se acuerdan de Mary? Yes. Mm -hmm. la, de la, la del audio chillón. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, escribió, está en pre-intermedio 2. Dice que no entiende nada y que no sabe por qué el pro. Uh, okay. No. Ok, uh, so welcome to, um, to another class here with English Corporativo. So uh, we're going to start with the activity that we left uh, yesterday. Um, and that's about the conversation that we're going to be developing uh, tonight. Uh, by the moment, I guess I have just uh, four people. Maybe they are going to be joining. I, I don't know if, if we have a couple here in order to start with um, the development of that exercise. Uh, Laura and me? Okay, so you can be the first one. And then we're going to be uh, working on, on the other conversations later uh, while they are joining to, well, here. Okay, so are you ready? Yes. Yes, okay, yes. that's good. That's yes, good. I think so, yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, yes. perfect, perfect. Okay. So, um, so the big conference is all yours. Okay. okay. Um, hello, Laura. Hi, Eliana. What do you usually do after English class? Well, after English class, I always drink a coffee and eat sweet bread. And how about you, Eliana? Well, I usually take a shower and I prepare to go to the bed. Do you hardly ever go to the bed at nine o'clock? No, I always go to the bed, sometimes early and sometimes really late. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Really? It's all, teacher. That's all. The microphone, teacher. <laughs> okay, I forgot. Sorry. I was saying uh, that that was good. Very good, girls. And um, I say uh, good evening to Mr. Giovanni that has already joined us. Um, well, that was the first conversations that we have here we, uh, about this exercise that we're developing. I don't know if there is another couple here. Is any other couple here? Uh, Jacqueline oh. and me. Jacqueline and, Jacqueline me. and you. Oh, okay. So, good evening. The, good evening, Miss. Okay, so, uh, go ahead. Hi, Giovanni. How are you? <laughs> Hi, uh, Jacqueline. I'm fine. Almost cannot see you. You you look really fit. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I often play soccer every Sunday. Oh, it's really good. I usually run two or three days on the weekend. Wow, it's very good. It's, it's all a... teacher. So, okay, amazing, very good. 
Excellent. Uh, well, uh, there is any other couple here? No? Um, well, we're going to uh, wait a, a little bit. Uh, maybe we're going to be developing the rest of the of the conversations um, uh, at the end because um, I think that the rest of the couple haven't joined yet. And um, let me start with the class that's going to be about the adverbs that you were using yesterday in the, in the conversation. I don't know if you have uh, had the opportunity to watch the video that you have on a platform. Um, the video that is about how to create questions using adverbs. Yes, I I see the the video. Okay, very good. So uh, okay, very good. So tonight we're going to watch again that video, and um, then I will I will be explaining some things about how to construct um sentences, how to construct questions. A using adverse of frequency, okay? So um, right now I'm going to show you, uh, just give me um, some, uh, some seconds. And I will be uh, showing you the, the, first of all, the adjective. Uh, I mean, the, the objective, sorry. Uh, here we have uh, the objective for this lesson. It says that by the end of this lesson, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverb of frequency. Okay, that's the, the, the aim of this class. Um, and there we have the video that it talks about um, the adverse of frequency. And, and um, I, wouldn't, I need you to pay attention to this. I'm sorry, I need to open it on YouTube. Okay. Here, so I, I, I'm a, I am asking you to pay attention to this video because I will be asking some questions. Um, so can you hear the audio of this video? Yes, no, yes, yes, okay. So, uh, I'm going to play it, I'm going to play it right now, and I will be uh, after the after watch the video, I will be explaining things that I told you for. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Okay, that's a question that, that's a question that we're going to be answering later. 
Okay, so um, first of all, one, we're going to start with this, uh, this part, the grammar focus. Uh, there you have uh, two different questions. Uh, the first one, it says, how often do you exercise? Um, and how often, uh, or the how often is um, a word phrase that we use to ask. Uh, for a specific thing or for a specific activity using the adverbs of frequency. As you know there, we're gonna find like uh, words like every day, once a week, twice a month, that depends of the activity that you develop. Um, if we use how often, so we're asking uh, to, the other to the other person to identify or tell us, okay? Uh, how many times that that person uh, do that that activity or um, develop that activity? Okay, the same happen when we use the um, do you ever watch TV in the evening? Okay, so in this case, um, it's a little bit different uh, because we're asking for a specific thing. Uh, Laura, so you raise your hand. Yes, teacher, I have a question. Okay, uh, so go ahead. I, and always we use how often of the adverbs of frequency we use in the question the auxiliary do. Um, when you use how phrase often, of I mean, in, in the case of the phrase how often, uh, you have to include do or as always every question. But um, when we use these kind of questions, uh, we use it after the, um, the question, in this case, the word, the word phrase that we use how often to ask for uh, the adverse of frequency. Like, how often do you do that activity? Okay? In another activity. But yeah. always use the auxiliary. Yes, uh, as always. In, in, oh. in questions, in questions like this, um, we always have to do, I mean, ha, we always have to use uh, the auxiliary do, okay? okay. Do okay. you, okay. so? Okay, and the same happens with the, the other question. We are going to use do you, but in this case at the beginning. And I was telling you before that when we use uh, do you ever, um, is because we're um, specifying the period of time or the specific time of any activity. Like for instance, in, the, in this case, uh, it says, do you ever watch TV in the evening? The evening if is a period of time, evening, okay? It could be like in the afternoon uh, on Monday. So those are periods of time. Um, in this case, we are specifying that. So um, if we're going to use this kind of question, we are going to use also uh, the um, some specific rules to create sentences using um, adverse of frequency. Um, for instance, we have questions like, yes, I often watch TV after dinner. That's an that, that is an affirmative sentence um, because we are uh, letting know that that person that we do that activity, so in that uh, specific period of time. Um, there is something that is um, a particularly here with the word sometimes, and we're going to see that, but uh, uh, just let me explain you uh, a little bit um, how we're going to uh, use the sentences using how often. Okay, in the case of how often, um, so we can start by saying uh, what activity, okay, we uh, develop. And also, uh, we're going to be using the, the adverb of frequency to specify that, that activity, how many times do, uh, uh, or in what uh, period of time we develop that activity. Um, so if I say, I need weight every day, okay? Every day, that's mean I do it uh, one time in a, week, in, a, in, a, in a day, okay? Uh, if I say, I go jogging uh, once a week, so that's mean, uh, just a one in a week. So in, in, in we can uh, use like those phrases to uh, say um, uh, things, uh, how we regularly do uh, the activities. In the case of the, do you ever, 
um, we use uh, commonly the um, a specific uh, adverse of frequency. I remember that yesterday I shared a link where you find uh, some adverse of frequency that has like uh, the like the percentage uh, per each one, like always, never, sometimes. Okay, so um, you can use it in this kind of question. Um, and as I said before, sometimes it's a special case. Why? And uh, let, just let me let me show you this part. Um, okay, here. Why it is a special case? In the case of um, sometimes, um, is the only adverb, the only one that uh, we are going to be using um, in the middle of the sentence, at the beginning of the sentence, or at the end of the sentence. That's a special case, just with sometimes. I can say, I sometimes go to dance class. So, uh, or I can start my sentence uh, saying like, sometimes I go to dance class, or I go to dance class sometimes, okay? So, um, when, we're, uh, we, when we um, don't want to say, uh, how many times do we, uh, develop any activity so we use sometimes because like in the middle I usually do okay so it's like uh, um, near to sometime so this is an special case um, is it clear what I'm saying guys uh, do you have any questions it, um, there is another thing that I, I forgot to, to tell you yesterday um, and it is uh, about the um, um, and the speaking English, okay? So um, if you think that there is something that I need to explain you in Spanish, you can let it me know. So in that way, uh, the topics will be like a little bit more clear. Uh, if you want me to speak just in English, it's okay. I will be ex speaking just in English. And, and that's okay, okay? But if you want, everybody can tell me, hey, teacher, uh, please explain me that in Spanish because I, I don't understand, I don't uh, get the idea, uh, so I can do it. Don't worry and don't be afraid to ask me that. Is it clear? Uh, and I will say in Spanish right now, um, si en un momento ustedes sienten que um, cuando estoy hablando en inglés, no se comprende qué es lo que digo o, o, o no me doy a entender qué es lo que eh, eh, estoy enseñando. Ustedes me pueden decir eh, con toda confianza, mire, Lick, uh, oh, perdón, eh, eh, mire, eh, teacher, um, eh, ¿será posible que me explique este, en español eh, o que me explique este, de una forma diferente esto o lo otro? Okay, porque la idea aquí es um, tratar de, de que todos comprendamos um, el uso eh, generalmente este, del idioma inglés en cuanto a su gramática, a su pronunciación, okay, a su escritura. ¿sí? Ahora les pregunto. De acuerdo, teacher. Ok, excelente. So, uh, no, I ask you. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. It's clear, teacher. It's clear. It's clear. Okay, very good. So, um, then we, we, we find uh, those adverbs of time, I mean, those adverbs of frequency, um, so uh, helpful in a conversation when someone asks ask us or asks you us, um, something about the activity that we develop. So it's time to ask you, uh, Mr. And I will be uh, like uh, pointing out my questions in order to um, receive uh, an answer quickly from you. And this is, this question is uh, for, let me see here. Uh, Mr. Jimmy, okay, so um, the question is, how often do you exercise? 
Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Repeat, please. Repeat, please. For sure. Um, how often do you exercise? Okay. Uh, I like ex exercise. Uh, uh, Sometimes. Um, Sometimes uh, every day, uh... Uh, you have your microphone muted, sir. Mister? Excuse me. Okay, so uh, I'm going to ask to uh, Mr. Giovanni, okay? Uh, Mr. Giovanni, you seems like, uh, do you like football? Or in this yes, case, I soccer, like. soccer? Yes, yes, I like. Okay, um, and, and how often do you um, watch, um, well, uh, football, soccer in this case? How often do you watch soccer? Play or, or, or see soccer? Sorry? Play soccer. Play soccer. Uh, watch soccer. Uh, like see watch. soccer. Okay. Uh, okay. I watch uh, soccer uh, once a week. Once a week? Sunday. Okay. That's mean every Sunday. Every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. Excellent. So, uh, well. Um, in the case of do you, um, well, if you notice here, I changed the questions. How often do you watch uh, uh, soccer, okay? How often do you watch soccer? Um, it could be like, how often uh, do you play uh, guitar? How often uh, do you watch movies? Questions like that, we can use it uh, here. In the questions that we are going to always receive, is um, uh, 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 pardon, um, an answer that we are going to receive is um, sentence using the adverse of frequencies. Like um, I watch uh, movies every day on Netflix. Okay, so I watch uh, movies uh, just on Saturdays um, or once a week. Okay. Um, we're going to receive that kind of uh, questions. But when we ask, do you ever, do you ever? So here we are going to receive a, an answer like, um, I sometimes watch uh, movies. I uh, never watch movies or I often watch movies. That's mean uh, maybe uh, I watch movies every day or like I always like, because uh, it, it could be like, Maybe uh, from Monday to Sunday, I do any activity, okay? So there we have uh, those kind of questions. And I don't know if you are ready. I will be um, doing a break here in order to uh, go to the exercise that we left yesterday. That, that is about, it's about this, using advert of frequency. So let me see how many of you are here. Uh, you are 12. Okay, that's good. So I think that I will stop sharing. Sorry guys. I think that uh, many of you have your couple now. Yes? Uh, Ms. Herrera, is your couple here? Uh, let me see. Is Diana here? Diana? Is Diana? Um, no. Okay. Is any in anyone no. here that has uh, his or her couple? Mr. Giovanni? Ah, well, no. Well, you, you already participate. Sorry, guy. <laughs> Sorry. I remember that. Uh, Mr. Manuel. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, teacher. Okay, uh, do you have your couple from the homework that I left yesterday? Ok, le, déjeme explicarle en español, no se preocupe. Sí, con todo gusto. Eh, este, eh, está su compañero eh, aquí con quien trabajó usted la tarea del día de ayer. No, fíjate que yo tuve un problema de que yo hasta hoy me voy integrando a este grupo. Ah, es nuevo. No sé ok, ok. Hacer. Disculpe, entonces, este, eh, don Manuel, eh, sea bienvenido pues a la clase de inglés eh, preintermedio 2. Ok. El día de ayer, pues, eh, dimos inicio a lo que son las, las videoconferencias y estuvimos trabajando por ahí eh, un ejercicio que era de conversación. En este caso, este, pues, eh, no es necesario que este, realicemos esa actividad, ya que la actividad es únicamente eh, participativa, no tiene ponderación y solamente es para práctica. ¿Ok? Um, lo que este, tal vez puedo resumir brevemente es que los ejercicios que nosotros vamos a estar desarrollando eh, y que son eh, necesarios para la para el desarrollo del, de, del curso, son los que usted va a encontrar en la plataforma. Se le compartió un enlace este, y se le inscribió a un curso específico eh, en la plataforma, donde usted tiene una serie de eh, exámenes este, al final de cada lección. Todos esos exámenes los tiene que completar eh, y obtener al menos el 80% de esos uh, ejercicios correctos. Eh, cuando usted tenga el 80% eh, de esos ejercicios, pues usted va a estar habilitado para poder solicitar lo que es el diploma y poder eh, continuar al siguiente nivel. ¿Ok? Brevemente le he explicado ahí. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta. Sí, solo quería saber cuándo habían empezado las clases. Porque el día de ayer. Yo... Ah, entonces solo la clase de ayer perdí. Sí, solamente se perdió una clase. Ok, está bien. Bien, pues bienvenido, este, don Manuel. Bienvenido. Eh, entonces, uh, chicos, hay algo otra pareja aquí que no ha participado. Veo por aquí que está Liliana, está... Eh, veamos, Jesús Mejía. Tengo por aquí a uh, Iliana. Perdón, Iliana, usted ya participó. Eh, don Jimmy sí, tiene y, y yo puedo leer este mi parte y la de Diana claro, por supuesto, lo puede hacer Patri ¿Sí? Patricia ah. I, can, I can help you with the read the conversation ah. ok, that, that yes. will be amazing that will be amazing ok, so uh, eh, um, Diana I read ah, that, Diana. Excellent. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Bueno. Empecemos. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Diana. I see you love coffee. How often do you think a coffee of a cup of coffee in the office? Oh, I drink a coffee twice a day. One in the morning and one in the afternoon. Do you drink water a lot? Yes, really. I drink three liters per day. Really? That's great. How about, How about you? Patricia? How about you, Patricia? <laughs> Sorry. How about you, Patricia? Oh, I drink water very much too. About two or three liters per day. But I love coffee and usually I drink a cup of coffee in the morning every day. Would you like to go to the coffee shop next weekend with me? Of course, I'm free this weekend. See you later at the coffee shop. See you. Okay, <laughs> See you. Amazing. That's amazing. amazing. Very good. Good okay. job, girls. Thank, thank you, Liliana. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Okay, uh, just let me read the uh, message here. Okay, okay. Um, 
Well, is anyone else here that wants to participate? No? If not, I'm going to continue with uh, the class, okay? So, um, we saw the adverse of frequency and we saw how we can construct sentences using adverse of frequency. Uh, there, in the, in the same um, uh, video, wanna find, I'm sorry, just let me share the, my screen. Yeah, okay. Here we're going to find um, the, oh, okay, just give me a second to put this here. Okay, um, here we're going to find the formula uh, how we can construct a, a sentence using the adverse of frequency. Uh, in a sentence, uh, we always, always we are going to use the adverse of frequency after the subject. What is the only adverb that we, uh, that don't follow this rule? Do you remember? What is the only adverb of frequency that do not follow this rule? Sometimes. 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 Remember, sometimes we can use it at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. But in the case of the rest of the adverbs, uh, we're going to use it after the subject. And here we have some examples of it. Uh, the subject in this case could be like he, we, and you, okay? Uh, we could use um, like a name or uh, we can use any other um, a pronoun if we want. Later, um, okay, uh, after, I mean, the subject we're going to use uh, the adverb of frequency, like never, like always, like hardly ever. And then uh, after the adverb of frequency, uh, we are going to use the verb, but there is something uh, here that I have to mention. We're going to uh, always use the verb in a sentence using the rule of third person, first person, uh, and second person, okay? In this case, it could be like third person plural and third person singular. Um, we, are, we have to respect the rules for constructing sentence. If I if I use like he, she, or it, my verb is going to uh, suffer like a change um, at the end. Remember, we have to use in third person the s, like place, like watch, uh, like uh, studies. Okay, so we have to remember that. And after the verb, we are going to use a complement or the object. It doesn't matter how you call it. It could be like object or complement. Okay, so um, then we have a, as complement like a baseball a, for a run. Is in this case, swing doesn't have a, a complement because it's not needed, but a, we can use it if we want. A, and there we have the formula, how we can construct uh, sentences using adverse of frequency. Uh, we're going to do an activity right now. This activity is going to be in trios, okay? Um, Manuel, so uh, you raise your hand. Uh, sí, solo una pregunta. Uh, esos son los, always son como los adverbios frecuentes. Exactamente. ¿Se pueden usar a, al inicio, en medio, al final, o es necesario que vayan, como está el ejemplo, primero el sujeto, después el adverbio y después el verbo? Muy buen punto. O, o... Muy buen punto. Este, hace un momento explicaba este, don Jesús que en el caso eh, de estos adverbios, eh, never, always, hardly ever, y el resto de adverbios, es necesario... o oh, es regla, mejor dicho, eh, que vayan después del sujeto. En este caso, como sujeto, nosotros tenemos los pronombres, eh, ejemplos que tenemos aquí, he, we, and you, ¿ok? 
Seguido del eh, pronombre, que también puede ser un nombre, nosotros vamos a utilizar el adverbio de frecuencia. Luego vamos a utilizar el verbo y luego vamos a utilizar el complemento. Existe un caso especial de un único adverbio que se puede utilizar al inicio, en medio y al final. Y es el caso del sometimes. El sometimes nosotros podemos este, eh, utilizarlo en, cualquier, uh, en cualquiera de los, de los momentos, al inicio, en medio, al final. Y por aquí tenemos, eh, bueno, usted también va a encontrar en el video que tiene ahí en la plataforma, este, cómo se configura este, este caso especial, ¿ok? El sometimes, si usted observa en, este, en esta diapositiva, encontramos que um, en la oración va seguido del sujeto, tal como tenemos en el ejemplo anterior, ¿verdad? Eh, sujeto, adverbio, luego verbo y el complemento. Pero eh, el sometimes tiene una particularidad, que nosotros lo podemos usar también al inicio. Y la configuración nos quedaría como eh, adverbio de frecuencia, sujeto, verbo y complemento. ¿Ok? A, eh, en esa misma particularidad encontramos que el sometimes se puede utilizar al final. Eh, podemos utilizar, escribir la oración nosotros, este, de sujeto, verbo, complemento y seguido del adverbio, tal como tenemos en, en los tres ejemplos aquí. Es el único adverbio que nosotros podemos utilizar este, en esos momentos, al inicio, en medio y al final. En el caso del resto de los adverbios, eso sí deben respetar la regla eh, de, perdón, deben respetar la regla de que estos adverbios deben ir seguidos del sujeto y antes del verbo. Eh, no sé si está este, clara la explicación, don. Sí, sí, le, ya le entendí. Que solo el sonkai es el, el, el verbo de frecuencia especial que se puede usar tanto al inicio como en, después del sujeto y, o, o al final de, de la oración. Exactamente. Para el resto, nosotros vamos a seguir esta forma. Sujeto, adverbio de frecuencia, verbo y complemento. ¿Ok? Ahorita lo que vamos a hacer es una actividad y la actividad este, va a ser en trios. Uh, so, the activity is going to be related to this. Uh, we are going to create a, a question. Um, could be like the examples that we have here, like how often or do you ever? And you are going to ask that question uh, to one of the, uh, of the people that did that, that Um, are going to be in the breakout rooms and you have to receive a, an answer from that person. The activity will take just uh, around six minutes, okay? And then you are going to be back, but I will be uh, visiting you uh, in the breakout rooms. If you are two, you can, you, you can adapt it and, and ask just to the other person, the other person can ask you, okay? So um, at the end, we're going to uh, find three different questions. Uh, la actividad que nosotros vamos a realizar ahorita eh, consiste en lo siguiente. Vamos a, a crear este, una pregunta utilizando el how often do o do you y el do you ever, eh, la cual nosotros vamos a eh, preguntarle a nuestros compañeros. Aquí hay un pequeño detalle, y, y lo explico este, así más, más específico. Tenemos dos preguntas, uno con el how often y uno con el do you ever. ¿Por qué son tríos? Porque este, usted debe crear una oración haciendo uso del, do, del how often y preguntársela a uno de sus compañeros. Luego, eh, la otra pregunta, crearla este, haciendo uso del do you ever y preguntársela a su otro compañero. Eh, usted va a tener una respuesta este, siempre con estas mismas configuraciones. Eh, ya sea como la oración que tenemos aquí este, eh, con el uso del Hoffen o con la configuración que tenemos aquí también al la, lado derecho este, con el uso de eh, los adverbios de, de frecuencia, tal como lo hemos este, visto en los ejemplos. ¿Preguntas?
Do you have any question? Eh, sí, eh, con referente a Hopper, eh, me, eh, todavía tengo duda que qué es lo que quiere decir. Igual que do you ever. Es, uh, bye, en el caso del how often, eh, generalmente, bueno, cuando usted pregunta o, o, o utiliza el how often, es porque quiere conocer con qué regularidad eh, una persona realiza X actividad. Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto a usted, how often do you watch series? ¿Ok? Uh, usted me va a responder, ah, yo veo series este, todos los días. O yo veo series una vez a la semana. I watch frequency series. Algo así. Sí, en, de, en este caso, la única diferencia es que este, la, eh, la frase de frecuencia va al final de la oración, cuando utilizamos el often. Sí, así como lo tenemos en los ejemplos aquí, que dice, I live weights every day. Eh, aquí, en este caso, cuando, cuando se utiliza esto, este, vamos a utilizar siempre frases como, como las que vemos aquí. Eh, todos los días, una vez a la semana, dos veces al mes, eh, todos los días, que en este, bueno, en este caso es every day, uh, tres veces al año, ¿okay? o podemos utilizar often and much, que es para decir este, eh, poco o mucho. Ah, ok. ¿Sí queda claro? Bien. Yes, yes, ¿Tiene? Okay. ¿Tiene, ¿Tiene más preguntas? ¿Do you have any other question? No. no question. No question. So I will create a very short room right now, and then you are going to be back in around um, six minutes. Let me see here. Okay, I have it right now. If you, uh, the, this is an option that you have in, in the breakout rooms. And there is a button that has like a, a, a and I don't like a question. And um, you can just push it and you are going to be uh, calling me. And I will be there in your group, Mr. Um, Jesus. Veo que tiene levantada la mano. No sé si es de la pregunta anterior o tiene otra pregunta. No, es de la pregunta anterior, Pizza. Ah, ok. Excelente. Entonces, eh, eh, voy a crear ahorita... Voy a abrir, perdón, este, ahorita todas las salas y nos vemos dentro de aproximadamente seis minutos. Ok. Eh, don Giovanni. In the we miss another another classmate. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Good night. Good evening, Manuel. Okay, we, uh, I uh, write two sentences. One of, how often did the another one with do you ever? I don't know what is, what's the dynamic. Maybe uh, I do one question for Jimmy and the another question for Manuel. Okay. And the same case is for you. Okay, you want to start?
No sé si ya las tienen Perfecto. ustedes hechas. No. no. Ok, esto, so. <ríe> lo puedo esperar, lo espero en unos minutitos. No, no problem. Vamos, no problem, ok. Ok, um, Jimmy, how often do you go to the cinema? How often do you go to the cinema? Okay. Uh, I don't really like visit the cinema. Okay. And Manuel, do you ever play football? Yes, sometimes play soccer. Okay. Okay. I'm me. I'm me for you. Okay. okay. Laura, do you like uh, drink coffee? Yes. <laughs> yes, you may like drink coffee. Every day, maybe five or four or five cups a day. Uh, of cups. Uh, three, three cups a day, four days. Okay. <laughs> Hi, my God. I drink a lot of coffee. Jesus. Jesus. Hi, Jesus. Diga, diga, Timmy. Okay. Do you do you ever watch the movie in the night? In the movie, Kevin. Lo, lo que no me queda claro, ¿cuál es la eh, la, tra, la traducción exacta de? Do, do you, you ever, ever es alguna vez? ¿Alguna vez? Do you ever go to the theater? ¿Qué sería? ¿Alguna vez has ido al teatro? O alguna eh, vez vas al teatro. Me al, que al, que cine, que... al cine, perdón. Sí. Ajá, al cine. Me imagino que hay que terminarla con, con algún tiempo de, así como acá que dice in the evening. Tendría que ser in the weekend o, o algo así, me imagino, no sé. Sí, correcto, tendría que ser. Qué bueno. Como para poder ser alguna vez el, el que, ¿verdad? Sí creería yo, ¿verdad? Por eso yo decía do you ever eat pupusas in the morning? Entonces ya la respuesta es pudiera ser eh, I sometimes eh, eat pupusas eh, in the morning no sé. In the morning, on the morning mm -hmm. para la mañana o, o en la mañana On the morning, quizá so. mm -hmm. On the morning Sí. Sí, la idea es. I que... eat, I eat, I eat, I eat rarely. I eat rarely pupusas. Sí, ¿eh? Mm, sí, ahí sí tendría que oh. ser como la, la, el sujeto, hay el adverbio, que usted dice rarely, el verbo. Ajá, y el, y el, pero, y, como es, pero, pero como es pregunta, cuesta una pregunta, va primero el sujeto, I, it, el verbo, el, el adverbio y el complemento. Según el esquema que él dio, eh, no, tendría que ser el sujeto, el adverbio de, de frecuencia, más el verbo y el complemento. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sería I. I rarely eat. Ajá. Pupusas. Pupusas. Eh, va en, en el presente simple. El verbo va en simple, ¿verdad? Presente simple. Creería que sí, lo que estamos viendo ahorita, creería que sí. Ok. Ok, um, good evening to everybody. Do you have any question for me? Hello? Oh, teacher. Please, uh, please speak Spanish for me. <laughs> okay, con gusto. Uh, 
¿Tiene alguna consulta que quiera hacer? Bueno, este, cuando es respuesta, cuando es respuesta, eh, uh -huh. siempre va el sujeto, el adverbio y después el verbo. Exactamente. ¿verdad? El sí. verbo va en presente simple. Sí, el verbo este, siempre lo vamos a utilizar en presente simple, en este caso, porque son uh, como daily activities, ¿okay? actividades uh -huh. que regularmente este, eh, se realizan. O, por ejemplo, este, si usted pregunta, do you ever, eh, siempre debe este, agregar también lo que es un eh, tiempo específico. Por ejemplo, eh, la oración que teníamos anteriormente, que era, do you ever watch TV eh, in, the the, in the evening? Okay? Eh, ¿Alguna vez ves televisión este, por la noche? Okay? La respuesta que nosotros vamos a dar eh, es utilizando en este caso el pronombre eh, personal I más uh -huh. el adverbio de frecuencia que en este caso podría ser este, como always, love it, rarely, eh, sometimes, never eh, y continuamos la oración este, según se nos ha preguntado a nosotros. Eh, puedo decir okay. I rarely, ok, I rarely watch TV, ok, In the evening. So, siempre vamos a, a, como a tomar en cuenta el, el contexto. ¿verdad? Que si a mí me preguntan, este, ¿alguna vez eh, eh, has visto o has ido, por ejemplo, voy a poner otro ejemplo, ¿has ido al cine los domingos? Pues la respuesta que yo voy a dar es, eh, yo raramente voy al cine los domingos. O sea, o sea, siempre vamos a ir utilizando ese mismo contexto. Es, es por poner un ejemplo en español. ¿Ok? La sí. misma función sería en, en, eh, en inglés. ¿Ok? I really go to the cinema on Sunday. So, uh, then the question could be like, uh, have you ever go to the cinema on Sunday? And the question mark at the end. ¿Ok? Quiere decir, teacher, que siempre hay que usar el sujeto I. Si sí, la pregunta ¿verdad? va dirigida a usted, sí. No si la pregunta. Decir, no never. Sí, bien. Never, never. Ajá. Siempre hay que decir I. I never. I. I never, si sí, usted va a negar, pero si usted va a afirmar, este puede utilizar I always. O este, si no está este, como al 100% segura, pues, eh, eh, y, y quiere decir, ah, yo algunas veces, ok, I, I sometimes, o, o yo raras veces, I, I no rarely. No puedo decir eh, usually or never, sino no, que usted, tengo que hacer la oración completa. Usted puede, ah, no, no se puede decir solamente usually, no, no. Tiene que este, eh, dejar el contexto también, ¿verdad? No, no solamente este, decir usually o sometimes. Eh, siempre tiene que complementar esa oración. Ok. okay. En inglés, okay. raramente... Ok, un dato. En inglés, raramente este, omitimos eh, el contexto. ¿Sí? Bien. Bye. Uh, Ok, ah, pues, only. Ok, only, just that. Only just that question. question. Okay. okay, very good. So I will move, I will see the, the rest of the groups, and I will be, uh, we're going to be back in around one minute. Ok, teach. De uno como estudiante aporta, aporta mucho para el crecimiento de uno mismo, porque de, de ese punto para acá, uno empieza a a incluir ciertas cosas a su vida o a su rutina diaria y le sirven por mucho. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. So, uh, How, okay, teacher, I'm sorry for, I'm sorry for I, interrupt you. I just want to ask you if you have any question for me about this topic. Uh, yes, I practice. Uh, okay. I practice. How, how often, teacher, how often do you teach uh, English? Okay. Um, I teach English uh, almost every day, 
because um, I had like different groups and um, I worked for, for a university and I have to be teaching students uh, every day and I have to be attending them uh, on WhatsApp, on the video conference. And so, so I teach every day, <laughs> even on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> You are uh, think English, eat English. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Live English. <laughs> yes, okay. that's true. Sí, yes. So, Vamos um, por well, ese inglés fluido del teacher. So, hola. Vamos por, ese, por conseguir ese inglés fluido, Leo. <laughs> sí, no, este, y el ritmo que ustedes llevan, pues, este, bueno, en el caso eh, de, de algunos de ustedes, yo he estado viendo el progreso. Eh, que han tenido y pues ha sido muy bueno hay este, varios eh, que son bastante autodidactas y no se quedan solamente con lo que este, se ve en las videoconferencias andan buscando información preguntan, mire este, eh, teacher, eh, esto cómo se dice eh, será que me explica esto yo con gusto les envío enlaces o, o cualquier material pues, que les pueda servir de ayuda ustedes algún, de, en algún momento pues eh, quieren consultarme algo pues háganlo por medio de WhatsApp y con todo gusto ahí estoy disponible este para responder todas sus eh, dudas y ayudarles thank okay. you thank you muy bien me voy a mover al último grupo este quiero ver a ver si ellos tienen alguna consulta antes de regresar a la a, a la videoconferencia general okay teacher okay teacher thank you Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi. Good evening. Okay. Uh, do you have any question for me about this topic? Um, in our activity, uh, the question was, how often do you eat seafood? Okay. Okay, that's good. That's a good question. Um, uh, and, uh, okay. hmm. All the question. Um, no, uh, no. I was asking you if you have any question about the topic. No, so, no, 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 no. We uh, finished yeah, the, the, the the activities. Okay. The homework, so, the activities. Uh, okay, finished. very good. That that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Um, so. Uh, we're going to be back to the general uh, to the general video conference right now, and then I will be uh, mm -hmm. giving you some uh, instructions for tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to be back right now. Thanks. Okay. Yes, estoy acá. Thank you, Manuel and Jimmy, for the practice. Okay. Um, bien. Uh, I take some more minutes. Uh, I, I think that were more than six minutes. Uh, but the thing is, we're discussing in, in each of the breakout rooms some things, and you were asking. That's good. Uh, so the, for tomorrow, um, we're going to be solving uh, the exercises that we have on a platform. Uh, the idea is that you can work on it um, as soon as possible because you need to remember the 80%. I will be always remembering that because it's so important. Uh, as part of the video conference, uh, you have to complete those exercises and get at least the 80%. If you fail in the first one, try it again. If you fail in the second one, try it again. So the, the platform allows you to practice uh, as many times as you want. Um, that is all that we have to, to know about the, the, the platform uh, right now because we're going to develop that activity as I said before. Um, en el caso de, de, la actividad, este, de las actividades que tenemos ahí, pues el, el día de mañana tendríamos que haber completado lo que es el ejercicio uh, de los adverbios de frecuencia. 
eh, ustedes lo van a encontrar, déjenme ver, en el 1.4, donde dice Knowledge Check. Eh, para mañana, este, ese ejercicio, pues, eh, tendría que tener, pues, eh, el 100% o el chequecito en verde que se les muestra ahí, para que ustedes así vayan acumulando lo que es el porcentaje necesario para eh, pasar al siguiente nivel. Recuerden que necesitamos el 80%. Y eh, siempre les voy a estar recordando eso, porque sí se nos pide muchísimo que les recordemos resolver los ejercicios en la plataforma. ¿Tienen alguna consulta antes de irnos? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. No, 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 Ah, veamos, Liliana, por ahí usted sí levantó la mano. Eh, para esta semana, ¿hasta cuál sección sabes que hay que completar? Bueno, en esta semana nosotros vamos a estar desarrollando la sección 1 y la mitad de la sección 2. Eh, okay. Sí. Y este, para la siguiente semana vamos a completar la segunda mitad de la sección 2 y eh, la tres. semana número, número, número tres. Y cuando terminemos eso, para el fin de semana, ustedes van a eh, tener que completar lo que es el midterm. Es un examen este, de mitad de curso, eh, en el cual pues, deben obtener el 80%. De la misma manera que se resuelven los ejercicios estos anteriores, eh, ustedes tienen diferentes oportunidades. Tienen más de una oportunidad para poderlo estar uh, practicando. Eh, hasta que ustedes obtengan el, el, el 100% o todas las respuestas estén correctas. Si tienen alguna consulta, pues háganmelo saber. Pero eh, las indicaciones este, que están dadas, no me, he dado, no me he fijado bien en la plataforma si las indicaciones también están en español, porque... Creería sí. que están en inglés y en español. Ah, bueno. Ahí sí, están en indicaciones en español. Ah, ok, excelente. Entonces, en ese caso creo que no habría ningún inconveniente, tal vez para, eh, para um, ver lo que son las indicaciones de cada ejercicio. Claro, si hay algún tema que eh, ustedes necesiten que yo refuerce, hámelo saber y con gusto tomamos unos 10 minutos en la videoconferencia para explicarlo. ¿Ok? Bien, si no hay más preguntas, entonces eh, voy a dar por finalizada la eh, videoconferencia, agradecerles por su asistencia y nos estaríamos viendo el día de mañana. Así que bendiciones chicos, cuídense. Gracias, feliz noche. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow, everybody. See you tomorrow. Night. Bye. 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 Bye.